whatever they teach in those churches is now breaking down the scriptures to quite great, properly. And the remainders of how long we're going to remain simple and what a, you know, we're talking smooth things. Right? We're not in the time of smooth things, man. We're not in the time of trouble. It's going to get real bad out here, man. The time of taking trouble is upon us, man. We're seeing that worldwide, man. We're using these jabs as a way to bring in this new world order, man. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Let's do that now. Make this known his words known unto you. The men of the world, the prophets, man. The men that you see in every street corner, man. All the major cities all around the world. He's making his words known unto you. He's making his name known unto you. Right? Right now. All right? Those who get it can get it, and those who can't can't. You know, well, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. The Lord called and you're refusing. The Lord's calling right now and you're refusing. You only really got one brother. I haven't listened. Man. You may have like one brother come up and ask like one question. You know, within a month's time, right? The Lord's calling and y'all refusing by not paying attention, by not accepting the truth, man. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. So all this counsel that the Lord's men is teaching, put that as, as if there's nothing there. You put it threw it away, you disregarded it. You didn't want to be reproved. You didn't want to be corrected. Alright? You know, because you want that smooth thing. You want to be able to do good things. You don't want to follow the law, come back to the laws and the statutes, and the heavenly father, confess to your family. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. The Lord's going to mock when your fear cometh today. The Lord is going to laugh at you today. It's that day. All right? Because he reached out, the Lord reached out his hand and he refused. He knocked it away. So he regarded it as if it was not, as if it was nothing. All right? When your fear cometh, cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Concentration camps are coming up. And they say, oh, man, you, you ain't jabbed up. You got to go to this camp, man. You got to lose your job, man. Because it's going to get much more worse, man. You can't travel. You can't go to a different city. Because you don't have a certain passport. Because you don't have, you know, that is jab. Or whatever. You know? And they really get to roll in this, this end of the world. The Lord's going to laugh at that. You know, when the military, military troops bust down the door, break up, break up the family and all that. For sin for years. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Yeah, then you're going to want to seek the Lord. Then you're going to ask, what's his name, his true name. You want to see that guys crack that big fellowship and how it shines on you. You're flying for a bit. Man, all, all, all you big, you know, you false prophets out there that know them, man, you're not teaching the true doctrine. You know, Lord, Lord, the Lord's going to be like, hey, I don't know you, man. All right? But that Lord is going to be back. All right? That was shy. He's making his, his, his day, his second day you. He came humble the first time around, the second time around, he's coming back to the dumb course, man. So let's, let's get that in Acts. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, they hated the knowledge. They didn't choose the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. All right? I got a specific gun. I this Isaiah 66 and 4. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. And how is the Lord calling? He's calling through the men that he set up to warn you of the judgment and the great fear that he's going to bring. All right? It says, And he said that he's going to bring their fear upon them. The Most High knows what you fear more than you know. He knows exactly what you fear the most. Right. And he's going to bring that upon you, man. And there's nobody going to be able to be able to stop him from doing that, man. Right. That's right. It says, 
Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. And the Lord is speaking to us, but our people refused to listen. All right? It says, But they did evil before mine eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Like it says in John, third chapter, all right, the light's been shown in front of them. Uh, light been shown unto them. Where our people love darkness rather than light because the deeds were evil men. Or our people don't want to repent. Our people don't want to get right. They want to continue to be with you. They want to continue to live this lifestyle. This is why how much you know, Shai, must bring great justice upon them, man, and make them pay for all the sins that they have trespassed against our Lord. God said the Lord is going to bring that judgment on you. The Lord brings good and the dark, the good and the people, the light and the dark. The Lord does all that, right? The Lord is going to bring that upon you, man. So you've got to get with this knowledge, man. Right? Well, Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11, and it says, But they refused to hearken and pull away the, the shoulder and stop the ears that they should not hear. Yea, they have made their hearts as an adamant adamant stone lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. No, I said he made his heart, which is representative of your mind as a stone. Adamant stone, man. Hard-headed. Like a stiff neck. Hard-headed to the people that just go. Is that okay? It says, yea, they made their hearts as Adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the word which the Lord of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Yeah, so they're not understanding the law, they're not hearing it, they don't want to hear it. This is following what you're going to do. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah of hosts. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. So they cried, and I would not hear, says the Lord of hosts. God, what's that great wrath? It's time to take a trouble. They missed that. That partial law. Right? We're paying attention to people who are posting up pictures of the White House recently. Now they're erecting new walls all around. Alright, they're putting up more walls around the White House. Why? Right. Because something's coming down the pipe, man. Partial law. The tower, man, they're making some, uh, there's a video on it. They're even making more threats. They threatened to bomb Washington, D.C. with 2,000, you know, uh, suicide bombers, man. So, yeah, man, that time is coming, man. The terrorist attacks. And, and, you know, insurrection. Insurrection, you know. Uh, hey, martial law. They still right? provocating for insurrection because they keep showing over the um, the capital. Yeah, yeah. The capital. Like, look, you should do it. Look, you should do this. This is what you should do to the American people. And... The people that are falling into it, they will be in them, them riots. They will be attacking our state buildings too. That's that problem, reaction, solution. Okay, they present the problem, they know the reaction, and then, then they present the solution. Okay, which all of this coming from them. Right. It's that one year anniversary, I think it took place last year around this time, June 6th. That's why they're pumping it all in the media. Yeah. Trying to put it back into your memory. Right? Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now the, the, the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. That now was the time to remember the Lord. Now was the time to get his truth. Now was the time to ask your questions. Now was high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah. The salvation is nearer than you believe. All right, now is that time. You see it in, the time is just shortening. I mean, the devil knows that he's got a, got a short time. Why he's moving fast. Yeah. The gates of mercy are still open. Alright? Yeah, that's why we act with so much vigor and like every every camp is our last day because we understand we have to get it right now before martial law is out here. Yeah, we hate to the day, man. You know, before you can't go outside with some dude with a, a, a thermometer checking you and, and scanning you. you know? What's yeah, that mean? Like, what? yeah, there's a meme out. As soon as you call. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, 
did like that, man. As soon as you cough, they're gonna throw you in one of them uh, quarantine camps. Hey, man, as soon as I called to my house, everybody was on me. Like, I did something. <laughs> yeah. I think he got some. <laughs> hey, but that's the fear that Esau is instilling in the people, man. That's, that's that problem reaction solution. Because they'll be the ones that turn you in. Uh, so, yeah, he was coughing. You know, we don't want to get sick over here. All the whole family, we done took the jab. He's the only one that didn't take it. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's how Esau is playing this game. Right? That's how it's been. Like the brother Sam, you know, the old council is going to betray you, right? Mm -hmm. right? So right yeah. now, the true president is you. And right now, it's the time to take heat. Right. Before the brother Sam, like the old boys, like first and all right, family, the word kicks in. All right? He says, while the evil days come not, Lord, it says Salaki, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Remember the days, remember the creator in the days of thy youth, man. Remember the creator. Give me the days as the creator was given to us, man. And Allah and his son, his name is Yahweh Shai. Remember the prayer upon those names, man. You can't be ashamed of those names, you can't be ashamed of his name, man. Right, you can't sell out for those names, for, for other names. Put this name on the black burner, man. Okay, this is the most precious name, Yahweh, and then this Yahweh Shai is the most precious name in existence, man. You can't to hide those. You know that's the first step in in uh, coming back to your nationality is to learn who your power is, the true names. Okay, that was your faith-based Israelites. You gotta have faith in that name. The Lord is here in your prayers. Right. It says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. It says, while the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the, nor the clouds return after the rain. All right, so before the judgment of the Lord, before he destroys his husband. Right now is the time to get right. All right? Acts. Chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Actually, you know what? Let's start at, uh, start at 6. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time Restore again the kingdom to Israel? Yeah, that's always been the question that the prophets have always asked all throughout time. When did you restore the kingdom? When did you restore the kingdom? When did we get that kingdom back? You know, back then it wasn't the right time. And now we're in that time now. How do we know? Because all the prophets have been lining up. The prophets that Yahweh Shai told us to look after. Right. They're all coming, they're all coming to pass right now. We're all right before our eyes. Man. So now is the time that the Lord restored the kingdom. But now it's also the time that Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver his elect. All right. And he said unto them, Is it not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power? But ye shall receive power after that Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. Right. He said, You shall receive power. That's, that's that hunter's Right now, the men of the Lord are out here commissioning, man. Some of them are going to get up hunters in that day, man. Look that up, Jeremiah 16. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord living shall brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. That's how great that destruction is going to be. You know, when the Lord releases those missiles, man, it's going to be so bad after the America, the land of the north, stuff right here in America. Right? This place is going to destroy. It's going to be the whole other high holy day, man. Another day that we're going to recognize that great deliverance that the Lord's going to put, you know, for his elect, man, for his, his remnant. It says the Lord liveth. That day everyone's going to know that Yahweh by Shai exists. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to trump the deliverance of Egypt. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be glorious, man. Everybody's going to see it. The whole world is going to see it. The whole world can see 
the deliverance out of Egypt, okay? But the whole world is going to see when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai makes his return, every eye shall see him, man. Okay, and they're gonna know that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, their spirit is gonna know. This is your creator. Everything that was created is created by them, man. All right. She was like, I heard what your God did for you. Right. Now everybody's gonna be like, I see right. what he did. Exactly. Right. 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 It's gonna be so great, man. Even though like it's gonna be scared. This place is bombarded with those missiles because all of America's gonna be destroyed, but the Lex is gonna be that pavilion. They're gonna be in that safe space in that chariot, in those chariots. Yeah. Right. Hey, imagine now 200 billion ICM warheads hit this place. The radiation coming off of that thing. It's going to go across the whole world, man. 200 million? Who is going the whole earth? Come on, man. The whole earth, earth is rocking. So we want to feel the experience, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be devastating, man. A great earthquake. Because earth is going to rock to the floor like a drunk. Right. So all that fire. But then again, it's going to be a positive thing because that fire is going to cleanse it. Right. It's going to cleanse that in the land of Israel. Because Israel is going to be destroyed, too. Yep. And that impact... When those, when those uh, warheads hit, man, that's going to shake the earth, man. Yeah. Okay? That impact and then them, 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 them imploding, all of that's going to move the earth, man. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Let me finish the part of the knowledge. What if the, the earth moves back to the, uh, the titanic plates pushed back together? All of, all of that could happen, man. We don't know what's going to happen, but we know it's going to be devastating, man. It's going to be devastating. If you're still living on this earth, man, you're going to feel it. You're going to definitely feel it. Jesus' scripture says, correct me if I'm wrong, there's going to be more land as well. There's going to be more land. So, yeah. That's going to, it's going to change a lot of things, man. Yeah, just look at what... Um with, with that volcano that happened in the Tonga, in, in Tongan water. Oh, yeah. Just that by itself, look how much it made a difference. It's, it's, it's making Tonga's island small. You know what I'm saying? It's just more yeah, water. Yeah. All those natural disasters, all those earthquakes, those are all signs. The signs of the Tonga of the That's what the sign diligently in itself. Yeah. And from all the lands where he had driven them, and he will bring them again into the land that I gave unto their fathers. That's all the elect scattered through all, all the four winds of the earth, man. All the, all the lands, man. The Lord's going to bring all Israel together, man, wherever they were scattered, back to the land of Israel. And also to all the planets out there. So the Lord's other many mansions in his house, man. The nation of Israel is going to inhabit it, inhabit the whole world universe, man. The whole world, man. Verse 16, it says, Behold, I will send for many fishes, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill out of the holes of the rocks. Right. That's that power that we always talk about. That's that huge bet. That's that huge bet. Some people have been calling us out here in the election. You've never seen that rock. Right now, the fishers are going to turn into those hunters. Yeah, right. It's Jeremiah 23 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, was brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, was brought up, and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. That old country, America. He says, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Because when the Lord delivered Israel to Egypt, the fame, what the Lord did, the fame went throughout all the known land at that time, right? All right, well, all the nations heard what the Lord did for Israel and they feared, all right? But this time it's going to be far more greater, all right? The whole world's going to know and witness the power of Yahweh Bush Yahweh Shai and what he's getting ready to do because the power that he's going to bring the world has never seen before man alright and like brother said the whole world's going to know 
that Yahweh Bashim Yasha lived with them. The whole world's gonna know that Yahweh Bashim Yasha is the only God, and there's no God besides Him, man. Right. Because of the power that He's gonna bring. That's right. All these other, these other idols that our people worship, you know, that two thirds worship, that uh, these other nations worship, all those other idols that are put in the dock, you know, Yahweh Shai. That's that big angelic force, along with the forces of heaven. All the angels of heaven, the whole host of heaven, the sight of the whole man. Yeah. And we finish this one uh, back in Proverbs 1. And um, I'm going to start back at 29. It says, For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkens unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. That's what it's about, man. We want to dwell safely. Yeah. It says, but whosoever hearkened unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Whoever shall hearken unto the Lord, man, coming back to his name, the Halabash and Elshai, coming back to this truth. Whoever hearkens to this truth, is going to dwell safely that day, man. So how can the young man cleanse his way by taking the Torah to the truth of love? You got to hearken unto his word, man. Right. You said before, man, now it's high time to wake out of sleep, man. We can't wish that enough. We're going to keep pushing it until the Lord has us off the streets. Right? And you have to go through Yahweh Shai. You cannot go directly to the Most High. Okay, like they're out here teaching, man. Okay, if you following those guys, you're going to be destroyed. It's simple. It's simple. You're going to get destroyed if you're following guys that say you don't need Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is just a regular man. Yahweh Shai is the one who created everything you see. Yahweh Shah is the one who created your black ass. Right. Okay? So you don't need him. He's not worthy of praise. No, only the Heavenly Father. What? Right. The Most High said, This is my beloved son. He, he, him. Okay? When, when uh, what was that, that act? When, when it was uh, Yahweh Shai, Moses, and uh, Elijah. Okay? But the Most High was like, you know, forget about Moses, forget about Elijah, hear my son. Right. Okay? He's the one you're supposed to be listening to, man. Alright? John, scripture says all things were created for him, by him. Whether it be dimension, realms, you know, principalities, principalities, everything was created by Yahweh Shai, for Yahweh Shai. Yep. That, that shows too that Yahweh Shai is above all, because Moses represented the law, mm -hmm. and Elijah represented the prophets. Yeah. So he was above all of it. Right. So if, if these guys out here with these wayward doctrines, man, you know, the Lord, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before the Lord comes to destroy them, man. They're going to get destroyed, you know. We we hope they repent, you know, but the way that they, that they seem like they hate the Lord, okay, coming back in their lot, Hating Yahweh shy, hating Yahweh, okay, wanted to wanted to be the big man on campus, okay. Like they like they're something. What to say when a man think himself something? When he's nothing, he deceives himself. They're out here deceiving themselves and they're deceiving you if you listen to them. Says, and when he had spoken these things, well, they beheld he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And Yahweh Shai walked over 2,000 years ago after he did that, what he was supposed to do after he finished his mission. You know, he walked up on that cross, you know, he gave the sacrifice for Israel, and you know, he went up into a cloud. What's that cloud talking about? So that's that those little chariots, man. All right, he was taken up into a chariot. Right. Verse 9, or uh, verse 10. It says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, 
two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This, those, those are angels. It says, This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into the heavens. The same way that Yahweh Shai left, it's going to be the same way that he's going to come back. The whole host to heaven. Right? He's taken up into a cloud, and he's coming back into it. Back with the cloud. It's a big, you know, cherry. He's going to use that to be on the left, right? That's the day we're waiting on, right? Right. And, and the government now is releasing, you know, their information they have on the chariots now. Yeah. You know, during this time. Right? They said they seen over a million sightings in America right now. Yeah, like you were about to say. Right? Check this out. It's out there. Now it's the time to get it. Yeah. You know, while it's still day. You know, while the times are not evil as they could get or they're going to get you know because this all these scriptures are going to come true whether you believe it or not whether you hearken or not but it says to hearken so these evil times don't come upon you okay get up Matthew 24 29 this is not this is the book of Matthews 24 and 9. Or 29. Oh, 29. All right. This is Matthews 24 and 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall, the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yeah, you know, this, this, this is, uh, the stars of heaven are going to come down and shake this place. All right? It's like the said before. To, to bring them to you to let you know what time we're living in we're at the end end okay like they like to the double the words up we're at the end end right now it's the end of the end <laughs> end end that's right the end of the world man. yep as we know it not the end of the earth but the end of this rulership and the Esau's world right? exactly the beginning of our rulership right you know? the end of the, the reign of the heathens you would have no more rain, okay? So y'all better enjoy yourself right now. But it's good to say, be happy and glad, O daughter of Edom, because the sword is coming to you now. You're going to drink of that cup, all right? Jake don't want that. Jake don't want leadership. You don't want slavery. You don't want slaves. Right. You know? That's why two-thirds got to be destroyed. You don't want justice. You don't want justice. You know? That's justice. It's putting, uh, putting these devils Captivity. That's what they do to us. They put us in captivity. Right. right? So it's true justice that they're in captivity. I thought y'all, I thought y'all, I thought, thought what Jake wanted. Every time y'all get done down, y'all work to ease off the justice, right? With the justice that he gives you, not even true justice, man. Right? Because the scripture says that he that eat into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's true justice. Yep. That's all that Esau has done, man, especially to the Israelites, man, is kill you with the sword, man, and hold themselves not guilty. You know, but Jake always like to say, well, two wrongs don't make a right. Yes, it do. Okay? Two negatives make a what? Positive. All right? Good. And it wasn't just Esau that put us in slavery. All these nations had us in slavery. All right. You know, let's, let's get that in Psalms 83. You know, all these nations had their hand 
putting their hands on us and bringing us down, man. That's going to give us that justification to enslave the entire, all, all the nations, man. You know? Should have said the dead not lived again for a thousand years. All these other nations, hey, they're going to slavery for a thousand years too, man. Because they made that tumult against us. Right? You know? All that have fought against Jerusalem was going to them, man. So, the book of Psalms 83 and 1. It says, keep not thou silent on power. It says, hold not thy peace and be not still on power. For lo, thy enemies make thee tumble, and they have hate, they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. All these holy nations are going to tumble. Now we're going to look that word up tumble. You know? That thing means like a large bucket or whatever. They all hate us. Yeah. Not just Esau, I mean, all these other nations. They all have their head. That are downfall. You can tell that. They, they hate us just by your everyday walk, man. Okay? You go into these certain stores, these certain neighborhoods, you know, and you meet these other nations and shit. They treat you like crap as well, just like Esau, because Esau gave them the green light. You know, it's okay for you to treat the Israelites this way and that way, man. Yeah. All right? Just like that, uh, who's that Asian chick? That uh, I think she's like a figure skater or a gymnast. I forgot her name. She came out and she's dating Jake, right? Like the whole Asian community's all been arms about it. She's dating so-called black people. But meanwhile, you know, you had Esau been running with the Asian women like the top kids. Well, they set them up. They they tell them to come over here to get them a, a white man. Yeah. Okay. Nobody they has think, a problem with that. Yeah, they think that white the white man is because he's uh, put that whole uh, Cheddar Ray Bourgeois picture around the world like he's God. He ain't nothing, man. He's a devil, man. That's like covered cast. He's got full of all the nations, man. Right. The whole world was ruled by that covered cast. Yeah. That's Cesare Bozier, you know, the white image of Jesus Christ, you know. That's why everybody worships Esau. It's that he's the true, you know, superior race. But it's not, right? Of course, I just gave him that time to rule with this little, this little season. Right, right. Joel 9, 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Right. I got the, I wrote it down when I was in high school. The process, and the word is violent agitation and disorder. Yeah. Violent agitation and disorder. These nations created that violent agitation, that enemies, that made that violent disorder against us. Man. And we're going to make a violent disorder against them. All right, we'll will. That's his will. Yep. That's the Lord's will. You know, it says what? It is for seeing that it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense those who have troubled thee. A righteous thing, man. That revenge, man. Yeah, that's happened, yeah. yeah. Don't think that getting revenge is a bad thing. Man. If someone does you wrong, it's good to get that payback. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. 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 The Lord is going to give his remnant the ability. The Lord is going to give his remnant. You're going to make him that, them the, uh, the battle axe and weapons of war. Man. Yeah. You're going to be that battle axe to get that revenge, man. Yeah, I got a cool piece of that. We just read it. You know, he's going to turn the fishers into hunters, man. Yeah. Right. To get that revenge. Right. Okay. chapter 1 verse 6 it says seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you he said it's a righteous thing with the most high man, to recompense tribulation right throwing us in slavery that was tribulation against us so it's going to be a righteous thing to put these other nations in slavery And, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Yeah, them, they, them that are troubled, man. We know you Jakes out here are troubled. Come rest with us, man. 
rest in this knowledge and this truth, man. Because this is what, this is the communion, gospel. gospel. This is what comforts you, man. All right, to know that this place ain't your rest, to know that our oppression is almost over. Yeah, this is the true comforter right here, man. The word, right? We'll come rest in the word, man. This is the only way you're going to get rest. You're not going to get rest, you know, we're a woman out here. We're in the flood of being a woman. It's not going to give you rest for long periods of time. Well, you're not going to get rest until you cook your home. Your homes and your automobiles. That's just gonna break down on you. Buy you a new car. It's all fucked up, man. The inside. Now you gotta pay thousands of dollars to get shit fixed. That car ain't gonna bring you comfort. That woman ain't gonna bring you comfort. It's life, it's how we're living in comfort. It's hell. Hell. Verse 8. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the most high. That obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. That flaming fire is going to take vengeance upon them that know not the most high. And the Christians are going to consume it. The destruction is going to consume it. The tongue is going to melt away because you didn't know the Lord. Because you could have not all his counsel. You were told these two names Yahweh and son Yahweh Shai, you were born in. Alright? You didn't want to deal with it. So therefore, that fire, that consuming fire, is going to destroy you. That vengeance from how about the hour side itself? It's gonna destroy you, man. That's this is the worst judgment, right? This is uh Ezekiel 25, and I'm gonna start at 13. It says, Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shai, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the dawn shall fall by the sword and I will lay vent my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel he's going to lay vengeance on Edom by the hand of his people his people Israel right and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury according to Lord's fury man contrary to popular Believe the Lord has more than just one emotion. The Lord gets angry. The Lord right. is jealous. You read that name, man. They, but they got this old crazy saying in Christianity. They say, God is good. <laughs> what they say after that? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> that, that's a lie. The Most High say He creates good and He creates evil. How the Lord do all these things, man. Okay? It says, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. This is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 22, or 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that, that, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through thee. What's the cup? Slavery. All right. Says, no, nobody likes what they have done to others. He passed on to them. And the scripture said, "What you sow, you shall reap." You reap like what you sow. Yeah, reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. It says that's not karma for you, man. Yeah. Right, I don't know how you even might think that you're gonna go and punish for for uh, what you did to the Lord's people, man. Right. All right. If we have to pay for our sins. All right. How much? How much you? All right. right. Just because you, you say that we're not the people of the Lord, that does not make us not the people of the Lord, man. Just because you put all these other bywords on us, don't make us who we are. Okay? We are we are Yasha Allah, the princes of the power, man. Okay? And you can't change that. You can write you can write that we're Africans or whatever you want in all the books. You can publish it on TV. Okay, throughout your media, but it's not going to change anything. Man. That's right. Read that wisdom of Solomon 5. These are they, the one that we had in division. Yeah. yeah. These are the two people of the most high, man. It's the people of Latinos and Native Americans. The only other nations are going to realize that when Yahweh Shah makes his second day view on planet Earth, man. Like the same people of the same people that's the day we look forward to, man. Yeah. All we have to look forward to. It ain't nothing out of it. too comfortable. We're going to go from the bottom to the top instantaneously. Bottom to the top, yeah. Okay. Trading places, man. Nations going to witness it. It says, 
Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through thee, or through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So our punishment's almost up, man. Yeah. All right, we're just waiting for you know the last whooping that Israel is ever going to receive. All right, that's Jacob's trouble. All right. It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So all this shit that he did to the Lord's people, man. All this shit he did to the Lord's people, to the Lord's creation, man. You're going to have to pay for it. Because just because we, we don't know everything that went down to slavery, all right? Just because we don't know everything that went down to slavery, everything's recorded in the heaven, man. And with all that we revealed to us, when we have you as, as as our slaves, right. all right. So the eyes were water, ten times brighter than the sun, ten th times brighter than the sun. The very crazy. But these angels are everywhere, watching everything. Things that we can't see, all those sacrifices that you do, all that blood that you drink, you know, all those those, those, those uh, the choosers of the, of the brethren that you're doing, you know, locking Jake up, innocent, locking innocent Jake's up for crimes they didn't commit, you know. Angels seeing all that and they're recording it, man. The Lord and the wicked in every place. The wicked in every place. Let's touch Abel real quick because as the brother was reading, man, the Lord has many emotions, man. The Lord is angry. He's furious every day, man. And he's jealous. Where? Uh, Nahum 1 and um, verse 2, it said, Yahweh is jealous and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenge it and is furious. So the Lord's gonna get that revenge, man, to his people, man. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he preserveth wrath for his enemies. He preserveth wrath for his enemies. You are his enemies, alright? First of all, we're almost two-thirds of our people right now. And he saw it with the nation, man. And he's gonna do his people to the left, his remnant, and he's gonna get to power, and they're gonna throw him into slavery. Alright? Go with all the nations. Alright? Let's go back to that. I got a real big Second Timothy 1, I'm gonna start at 6. It says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of the most high, which is in thee by putting on of my hands. For the most high hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You can't be fearful of it. You can't have that spirit of fear, man. It's too resonating. You can't be fearful of whatever it's thing. You know? You can't be fearful of out to the streets and teach his word. You can't be fearful of what these souls going to do. That's, uh, that's the point where you ignore the Lord, man. To where you're not hard to know if it's true. You can't be fearful of people with your job seeing you, man. Because it's going to happen, man. You're going to be too all going to be tried, man. We're all gonna be tried out here. Some degree. To, to the back, actually. Because it says perfect love is passed out to you. Yep. It says that everybody's gonna be thrown into that fire to see what type of work you are. If you're wood, stubble, silver, or gold, man. Okay? Every man's work is gonna be tried. That's why it behooves us all, man, to get into the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shine. Stay in this. What it said? Come and rest with us, rest man. With us, yeah. You know, rest in, in the power of the Alvarez and the Alvarez. There's power in this, man. Okay. They're not taking our videos down for nothing. Okay? They're, not, they're not taking. They're not taking down the, the, the rest of these guys' videos. Why? Because they know where the power is. Negative about yourself. Right. Uh, like, I'm just a stupid. 
I'm just gonna put on this and tar it on. Yeah, because that, that goes into your, to your subconscious. You do. And you actually start to believe it. Yep. That's why you got a lot of these guys out here that have that whole self esteem, you know, on certain things because they really have that, that self hatred about themselves, you know. And it puts off a certain vibe, you know. Right. Like a Psalms 83 and 3. I'll, I'll read to uh, it. It says, For know that enemies make atonement, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and have consulted against thy enemies. And that crafty counsel is that witchcraft that they use, man. Okay? Through their media. The media is the main form of witchcraft that they use that they use on TV, that black box. Okay? Jake sit in front of it and get programmed, all right? Learning all the things he ain't supposed to be learning, man. That's right. There's no, there's no uh, uh, truth in that thing, man. Same thing with the music. Same thing. That, that black box, the music, it's all a certain vibration that's put on Jake. You know, only our music, only only Jake this talks about <coughs> killing, right. robbing, stealing, <laughs> and it's fucking another man's wife. He's on. You don't hear that shit in this song. Yeah, and beefing. You don't hear all these other these other nations' music where they're beefing with other artists. That's the only push on Jake, man. Why? Because they know there's a certain vibration that's pushed out. Negative through this, vibration. Through this, yeah, through this, this, this entertainment system, man. Right. Through this television, through this music. And that's what the That's Crafty is. Council. That's, the oh, yeah, that's that Crafty Council. The brother just read, and that's part of it. Uh, you notice how they only have a really push out that whole full of shit. Yeah, one. Right. Only our women, bro. Jake, uh, e Esau women? Nah. Nah. Only our women. He, he, yeah, you don't hear no Taylor Swift talking about some guap. That. The closest thing to that is uh, what's your name? Miley Cyrus? Miley Cyrus. She's turning on Ratchet and Vince. She is. She got her back. She got to be a little white person. <laughs> They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Exactly. They say that by calling us what? All type, types of bad words. Calling us niggers, spits, uh, uh, Indians, you know. But they didn't have a problem when this when this thing on uh pandemic thing came on. They didn't have a problem saying, you know, mentioning, uh, mentioning all of us in one Sentence talking about, yeah, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they need to be the ones who the first to do, you know, whoop de whoop, but they wouldn't call us by our right name. Right, right. Okay? You know, they damn near exceeded too. They damn near accomplished their goal by cutting us off from being a nation. We were cut off by being a nation. The goals I had in the remnant, you know, that he woke up in these last days. Man. Yeah. That 3,000 men that, that didn't bow down, 7,000 men that didn't bow to the knee to buy out. He always had his remnant. Yeah, we, hey, they pretty much cut us off, man. We're destroyed, man. Because Jake go on social media. Jake is gone, man. Yeah. Completely yeah. destroyed, man. If it wasn't for, for these men of the Lord out here, man, Jake is completely gone, bro. Mafia. You see the mafia of Jake on the internet, man. The internet, yeah. And these movies, too, man. Oh, yeah. I hate, really, I hate watching black movies, man. I don't like watching black movies. It's just too much. Too much. You got to think, think always be acting stupid. No, no real uh, storylines. Yeah. No, no real craft. It's all just fucking. No real hidden meanings. Right. I just heard one thing. I just got to have to be like a girl. And I just want to get that bottom on the seat. We were talking with that green shot. We were going to be able to do it. Like the Sherman Oak. They were going to be able to do it. They were going to be able to we speak to the wind. I didn't, no, the one that hit me in the I'm going to say what they did. Keep up the good work. Okay. They have to get hit in the face. That's the answer. Yeah, the prophet's like, it's going to say prophesy to the wind, man. You guys say, oh, we out here in Sherman Oaks, man. Ain't nobody going to hear us. He's downtown LA. Right. Ain't nobody was hearing us. You know? Speak to them, whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. We don't care if you listen or you don't listen. We've done our job. We wash the blood off of our hands, man. 
okay? Yeah. Because if we don't do this, then the Lord is going to hold us accountable because he entrusted his word with us. And right. we're entrusted to do what? To go out and spread the word, man. Huh? So All right? We got to go out to the cheap place of concourse. Right? right. This is the cheap place, one of the cheap places of concourse out here, you know, California. We out here. Ain't nobody listening to us. Ain't used to nobody listening to us, man. Right. Hey. In downtown LA. When they, nothing, nothing but essays out there, man. They, nobody is a bar. Cheap. They pass by and they see like the guy passed by two or three times waving. Blowing his arm, doo, 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 waving and stuff. They just marking themselves, man, because you can get it easily. There's a lot of parking over there. You can easily just park over there. They came and got the word. Okay? But instead, they, they do what? They, they leave it up to us. Okay? So if you leave it up to us to preach the word, or leave it up to us to get the salvation as well. Too. Okay? Leave that up to us as well. All right? We don't need cheerleaders out there. Right. We don't need cheerleaders. Okay. It says, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yay. Whoa. It's a job. It's a job. It's a job. That's what we're called to do. Yeah. People say, you know, if I do this thing willfully, you know, I have a war. But if we guess my will, the dispensation of the gospel is laid upon me. So, hey, like Brother said, this is our job. This is our true vocation. Oh, to come out here whether we want to or not. We have to do the work. Uh, even this uh, Pharisee, this is our profession. Our profession. That's right. Spartans, what is your profession? Right. Oh, this is our profession, right? It says, yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Oh, it's not just the gospel. It's not the gospel. show him, you know, when things get crazy, you know, oh, this guy, he wasn't crazy after all, you know, right, at the end of the year, the end of the year, the end of the year, the end of the end this year, we're telling you the end is already here, man, all right, we're coming to the end of Esau's world, the beginning of Jacob's, the beginning of Jacob's, man, yeah. it's funny how everybody, they go to the left hand side to find out the future, they want to find out what's going to happen in America. And well, the Lord has meant that prophesied uh, the future to you. You know, you want to know the future so bad. We're telling you that this place is about to crash. We're telling you death is coming. It's on a lot of it. Yeah, just like, the morning. just like the brother said, you know, they're not going to get it until it all comes, you know. Yeah. Uh, destruction comes. Then they're going to start believing. By then it's going to be too late. Let's get yeah. that in Amos. I'm going to prepare for the word. 8, 11. Seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Okay? Because they're going to believe. There's going to be a time when they're going to believe, but it's going to be too late. Yeah. All right? This is the book of Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Behold, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Yeah, there's going to come a time. You know, we're not going to be able to go online you know, to get this word, get this truth, man. It's going to be a famine of the word. Just like right now, I found out they put a strike on my page for a video that I did months ago. So they're desperate. They're yeah. looking at, they're desperate for finding any kind of material that they can find to shut this word down, man. That's how I got my old channel, bro. They got, they got me an old ass video like a year ago about, about the fucking uh, rats, man. Yeah. So yeah, man, it's going to come that famine of the word. Now when you watch your brother's video, it's like, you got to know what he's talking about. He's talking in so many codes. Right. <laughs> but that's, hey, that's that's good. Because that shows you that we're getting to the end now. Okay, the famine of the word is coming. Yeah. This is a pre preamble to the famine of the word. Brothers having a talking code. Talking about Vanessa. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the censorship is at an all time high. Right. I mean, they're censoring everybody. No, uh, you can't even do it on, on social media. Yeah. You can't you can't even bring out certain certain words. They flag that. You can't have certain pictures. Yeah, right. They flag that. They, yeah, they, they, it, IG, Facebook. Yeah. YouTube, all yeah. that. Everybody's using those code words, man. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, back at 11, says, I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst of water, but a hearing of the word of the Lord. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to east. They shall run, and, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. It's going to come a time when they're going to believe it's going to, it's going to get so bad but they're going to be seeking answers. Like, what's going on? Where are those prophets at? Where are those guys out there with the, the dress on? Where are those guys that stuff talk about the name? What's his name? And who are that guy? <laughs> what's right. that name again? Hey, uh, <laughs> you know time when the message was going to go to Hawaii? Yeah. And go running through any mines and shit. You had people fucking going out on the boats and going to the ocean. You had, uh, you had people up, up, up Brother over there in Hawaii, of the bar, uh, he, he went live and he had like 33,000 watching. Mm -hmm. See? 33,000 people watching. Never got that much views on a live before. But when it's when, when their life's about to die, people, what do they seek after for? They seek, they seek after the truth. Right. They seek after the most high, man. And they, you know? they knew who he was. They knew exactly what he was Right. right. They've seen it before. Right. They're, at, they're ignoring the truth now. Right. But, but they know exactly where to go when all hell breaks. Mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says, seek, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yep. Seek ye one may be found because right now it's the time to find the Lord. Real soon, you're not going to find the Lord, man. You're not going to find this message. You're not going to find this truth. All right. And it's good to say, they, in, in the time of their trouble, they shall seek me early, but I will not hear them. Okay? Most high is going to turn deaf ear to you because this is his voice speaking right now, calling you, telling you, yo, wake up. Come back to your nationality. Okay? Come out of the world. All right? The things that's happening in this world has nothing to do with us, man. We ain't got nothing to do with it, man. We don't, we don't uh, live for this world, man. Okay? We don't. We live for Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. We're looking forward to the kingdom, man. All right? That's where our treasure is. It's not on this earth. All right? That's why two-thirds of our people don't want to get it. Some people are up the world, man. They're all about the world. They're seeking rap music. They're always talking about the riches. The riches and the bitches and the clothes, man. Mm -hmm. They're all about this word. The truth is about the word, man. Yeah. You're going to see us in no big suits out here, man. You're going to see us in no mega church, no big building. That's why our people aren't coming to us right now. But hey, when, that, when that time happens, you know, that shit hits the bed, you know, they're just wandering sea to sea, mm -hmm. looking around, looking for us, man. Yep. And we're not going to be there. Even when 2020 hit, every my channel got more views. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, they, they, they was looking. Just like you say, they know where it is. They know where it is. Okay? If the word of the Lord don't go out void. If, if somebody's hearing it, they know where to go when they want it. Mm -hmm. Alright? The word don't go out void. Psalms, uh, stadium is fine. This is the only food they're going to get. Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. So are you looking for spiritual food? The only uh, uh, food you can get is crying, death, mourning, and just tears in great measure. Uh, one day, you know, widowhood, death of children, and destruction, that's going to go party with that day. Yeah, like it says in the scriptures, brother, read earlier, but, you know, uh, selected. They, they hated knowledge and they chose they chose not to fear the Lord. Right. And because of that, you know, they're going to receive the worst. All right? You know, they have all the time for the world to get, right? You know, what's going on, man? They're just focused on the bread and circus. All right, how to make more money in this place. Establish the here. All right, when you're supposed to be on the street, man. And they got right for uh, Shaitan. Yeah, they got they, right. They didn't make sure they got the, the uh, uh, four plus they made sure they got in order with the mask. Yeah. 
you know, they got right for Shaitan, but not for the Lord. Right. Israel, a homeborn slave, yeah. Like the brothers is going into Good. Yeah, let's like, get that in uh, Isaiah 47 and 9. Man. You're only going to get those tears and bloodshed in that day. It's the book of Isaiah 47 and 9. It says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood. Yeah, man, loss of children and widowhood, man. That's right. They shall come upon thee in the perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Well, that witchcraft is going to go right out the window. Look at the same America. Yeah. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None see it me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge they have perverted, and thou hast said in thine heart, I am none else beside me. Yeah, you know, you trusted in thy wickedness. He trusted in that wickedness, but that wickedness, you know, that's why he's going to take all that power away from him. That day. Let's go back to that song, man. Like the nation. They're going to get it too, man. We're in Psalm 82. Oh, okay. So, in Psalm 83, I'm trying to four. It says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. The name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They, they, they pretty much succeeded on that. Right? The name of Yasha Allah was completely wiped out. Until so the apostles came on the scene. You, know? so, you hear that name Israel, but it's not associated with the right people. Right. Okay? They dare not call themselves Israelites to say that they are Israelites. They don't call themselves the Jews. They say that they're Jewish, you know, which is all in the spirit as well, you know, to let you know that those are not the right people. Why would you call yourself, why would you call yourself Jewish? That's just like me calling myself, I ain't Jewish, I'm a Jew, okay? I'm not Jewish, I'm not a kind of Jew, I'm a Jew, okay? Short form of the word Judah, okay? That's right. Right. Cut us off, man. What they do is the slavery. You know, it's done. It's done. Yeah. Sleep. The northern kingdom, they don't teach them about this. They're slavery. So they think they're better than the southern kingdom. Yeah. You know? yeah. So they're just, they don't associate themselves with the northern yeah. southern tribe at all. When I was in uh, middle school, his scar was, he's getting on me. Should I enslave you? You know, cotton. I'm going to fuck you with slavery too. Yeah. All right. And then they're back in the modern way. Now they got them picking grapes and oranges and, 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 and strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. So you win, you, you cheap right. ass, you right. suffering right. just like all, yeah. Right. Right. It says, uh, going on, it says, uh, that the name of Israel may be no more remembered. It's no more remembered until now, until our apostles came on the scene, until Abu Bibbins came on the scene, you know. So pretty much these heathens try to destroy it completely by like, trying to take away our heritage. So, yeah, like time, time, and half the time has been built though. That right. name y'all should always back in the scene. Yep. They got to pay, man. It says, For they have consulted together with one consent. They have a confederate against thee. Confederate. They all came together like the South, the confederate South, the stars and bars. They we all came together. All right, take us down. Do your research on the transatlantic slave trade. It wasn't just Esau that came over and moved slavery, right? Esau, Arabs, and it was uh, Africans. The Amites were not right. Africans. It's, it's just like uh, Ronald Reagan, when he started that Space Force stuff, he said, uh, don't you think we have a common enemy coming from outer space that we could all get together. It's the same way. Okay? They will come together. They'll stop fighting. Like they're going to do when the Lord comes back. They're going to stop fighting to come together to try to fight against the Lord. And that's what they did to us when we was a nation. They came together and say, look, let's take them down. Okay? 
let's make the name of Israel be no more in remembrance, man. Let's let's not let the world know that these are the Israelites. Let's call them something else. Call them niggas, okay? Call them Mexicans. Call them call them uh uh uh, uh what's the mother other by word? Hispanic. Hispanic. You know? Yeah. Call them everything but a but a child of God, as they say. Call them everything but the Israelites, okay? Because the, the so-called Negro man, we we got our name changed about four times. Yeah. Every decade, they, they were changing our name, man. Uh, Equals, right? Equals to say, right? Sound like what? Hebrew, Hebrew Negro. Okay. Good. So. That stone, what's going with us? I don't know the stone or whatever. It's got Lomas. That's Lunas. That's Lunas. 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 Everybody on the planet knows who we are except us, man. You know, it's very dangerous. But East Indians in the court, you have a testimony about that. He was telling us about that. East Indians uh, that know who we are, man. But Africans, they know who yeah. we are. Yeah, we're close to the Hamites, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got that book, bro? What's that? Uh, Xanderman's Bible Dictionary. You got that? It's got the definition of ham, man. Like class of learning right here, man. Right. Because Esau would want you to believe that we are Africans just because we are dark skinned. Oh, you got it? Oh, okay. Right there. No, never mind, bro. Let's look up Ham. But just because people are dark skinned, man, it doesn't make them the same nation. Right. All the nations were dark at one point. Right. That, that's just like, why don't you lump up the East, the East Indian? You know, or, 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 or even even more so, you want to be a Cambodian? Yeah. So they all got brown skin, you want to be both? Shit, there's some East Indians out there that's, that's, that's black like him. Okay? And we got some of our people mixed up in there. Right, right. exactly. They're scattered. Yep. Yeah. 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 It says, uh, Ab is the youngest son of Noah. Right. It says, Ab is, a, is the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. One of eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. Progenitor of the dark nations, not the Negroes. It's specifically, you know, singled out, separated, singled out Negroes, man. Because we're not him, like that. We have a whole other spirit than them hymns. Yeah, we were right. given the commandments unlike them, right? They follow. Yeah. It shows you that Esau, the historians, know the difference between an African <laughs> and an a, a Hebrew Israelite. Right. They know. They know. Esau knows, man. These Africans know. You know? But you Jakes, y'all don't know, man. Right. And it's like you're, you're putting like, this council to naught. You put the Lord's council to naught. You're just telling you the truth this whole time. Yeah, that's Esau trying to cover up his own sins. Like, yeah, your people did it to them. You did it to yourself. Yeah. You know, I'm not responsible. But well, the Lord will not acquit the wicked at all. That's right. I got a few steps done. Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel, should not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. What's the difference between the Egyptians and Israel? In the spirit, you know that that's a him by that's a Jake. Right. Bro, I was a little kid. I was getting hammered out by thought that were Africans. So I'm watching TV, shit about Africa. These kids are these Africans that these Hamites are jumping over cows. Yeah. Uh, the women are are forcing men to fucking whip them. If they don't whip them, they kill them and shit. Uh, they, they have to piss, eating shit. Now I'm always watching this shit like, how are we the same people? You know, I like this. Yeah. It's totally different. You know, they say, they say us. How the fuck is this us? And we were in the brother's house, was talking about it uh, last week. And they have, like, 
Yeah, stretching their neck, yeah, plates in their lips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, would you put a plate in your lip? <laughs> you know? You put a bone through your nose. You put a bone man. through your nose. No, no, I don't put no bone through my nose. Exactly. Exactly. Because you're not of the same spirit. You don't have the same spirit as those yeah. dismal, dull Africans, man. Yeah. Okay? They're our first enemies. They hate us, man. They hate us. Okay? I used to wonder that when I was back in school, when they talk, told us we were slaves, we came from Africa. I was like, well, why did the Africans come and get us? Why, why did they come over here and say, yo, those are people, you can't do them like that? You know? Later on to learn what? That they were the ones, along with the Arabs, that sold us into slavery. You know? Round, rounding us up. How, how would they round us up? Because they knew we looked different from them. We have a whole different spirit than them. It's easy to tell the right. African from the Israelite. Right. Okay? We were on the west coast of Africa, man. We had our lands on the west coast, and they knew exactly where to find us. Yeah. Fort Judah, our new forts. Yeah, Fort Benjamin, yeah. Fort Judah, all that. They knew exactly where to get us, man. Because the Arabs knew, yeah. and the Hamites knew. Mm -hmm. Before that, we were going to war with them Africans over there. Yeah. They were jealous of, jealous of us. We were, we were making land, property, we were getting wealthy. You know, and these heathens, they just envious. Yeah, you can't stand seeing us have nothing. Hey, when we came into Africa, you believe, best believe we came with our whole force. We had doctors, lawyers, uh, carpenters, brick masons. We we were able to build the place up, man, and they hated it. You know, they were still building huts and shit. What they have pissed me off, man. They always wanted to get, we saw that whole credit taking us down. White man just came from Africa. Rounding us up, man. That was forgiven, man. It was three nations. Man. We had to fight off. That's how we went down, man. Once I had to raise up three nations to take us down, man. That's how we went down. No one saw them give over here, just rounding us up, just putting us slavery. Right. It's really, just the most high allowed. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. This is Joel, chapter 3, verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may that they might drink. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Verse 4, Joel 3 and 4. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Right, these are two Hamite nations. And all the coast of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, I will return your recompense upon your own head. Yeah, they thought they were going to pay back the most high by going us to slavery. Most high gave you the power to put us to slavery because we went off on his cause. No, I had nothing to do with that shit. Most high just went off on his cause. get back the most high by punishing his people. Most high just got to turn that recompense on your own head, man. We mm -hmm. you put you in slavery, right? We put someone in slavery. This was the uncertainty. This was the labor. This was the labor. <laughs> Yeah, she just kept walking back and forth, like, yeah, this is going through, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I got to make that sign, bro. You put someone in slavery, they're supposed to work and give you tributary. Right. But, you know, you ain't supposed to pick them out, right. make a harlot, you know, do all type of abomination. Turn the boys to homosexual. Slave, being a slave was just a job. 
Yeah. Like it is today. They, they went overboard, man. Okay. What, what do they do? They, they, they lynch us, you know, castrate us. Yeah, they put up some, put them on boats, yeah, us on boats. On boats packing like sardines. Mm -hmm. You gotta they urinate, they waste, throw up, and make some cycles all on each other, man. Yeah. No, I think they said they could smell the boat coming from miles away. Damn. Yeah. That, hasn't been, that hasn't been done to anyone else but us, all right? You know, and there's a lot to pay for, doesn't it? Good. You mean, even the northern tribes, when they were in their slavery, yeah. they were brutal. Some say it was more brutal than southern kings. Right? Yeah, a lot of them couldn't do it. They make it yeah. you chop off the wings of breast, yeah. okay, test their strength, you know, you read about these little books, okay, all the different accounts of what they would do, stomp out the babies, they kept pregnant women's, their womb open, baby bomb, stomp on it. Play soccer with the and all that shit. That's a devil, man. Who would, who would think to do something like that? Who would even think of that? That's someone that loves death, man. Hey. Uh, you too. Yeah. 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 They didn't let us go. Even after the slavery, they didn't let us go. Right. They didn't have the slavery came Jim Crow. Yeah. You had that reconstruction period. That's how you know Jake is so great. This Jake was coming up even after slavery. We had our role in the Senate, in the House of Congress, the Congress and all that. Jake was coming up. Yeah. Uh, the sharecroppers making money. That's what they do. They create the KKK, man, to bring down Jake. Yeah. 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 To further bring down Jake, you know, uh, women's liberation, man. Yeah. And integration. Yeah. Integration. integration, man. Integration was yeah. one of the worst things that ever happened to Jake. That was like yeah. a nuclear bomb, man. That was a bomb, bro. But Jake was doing fine all by himself, man. They, they had to use real bombs, man. Right. Tulsa, Oklahoma being one of them. Yep. One example. Yeah. Of those great black Jake communities that we, we built up. They bombed out. You know? <laughs> but yeah, even that Jim Crow shit, that was even worse than the slavery, man. Right? Those Jake. Right, at least during the gym, uh, at least during slavery, the slave master somewhat cared about his slave yeah. because that was his property. Yeah, okay. So okay. Said, you gotta make money off this property. I can't do you no know, wrong and shit, you know. You know chop his foot, hands off, feet off and shit. You know, this is my money. This is how I make my money. You know, that's just like going and, and, and putting some damn water in your, in your vehicle that you're about to drive. Okay? Yeah, put it on post office so Jake get burned up. So yeah, man, y'all got a lot to pay for. That's the stuff Gator Bait, man. One of the favorites. I'm talking about you Gator Bait, man. Mm. Jake, Jake, Jake Babies, feed him the fucking alligators, man. Let you make your little gator boots. Nowadays, you got Jake talking about, oh, yeah, man, little gators, man. Jake want to rock some gators. You don't even know the history behind that, man. Use, uh, verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, the children of the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Right, so these Hamites they gathered Jacob, and when Esau came to Africa, they sold us to the Grecians. Alright, they sold us for wine. They sold us for wine, for guns. They, they wanted the guns to fight fight each other and shit. He says, To move them far from their border, behold, I'll raise them out of the place where they have sold them and will return the recompense on your own head to the Lord. He's going to he's gonna come back into our land, man. Eh? Like it says in um, Revelation 21, John saw a new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. What do you think we're going to be doing, man? We're going to be putting you nations. Uh, all you nations that had a hand that have particular business and say we're gonna be putting you in chains, man. And the Lord's when people come to what you did to us, to your ass, man. Alright, because you reap what you sow. Simple as that. Ezekiel 35? Right. Uh, this is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Oh, 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquity, had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, our power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, evil blood shall pursue thee. Thou in heaven, they have not hated blood, they have had that perpetual hatred. It's just forever, man. Forever. Perpetual forever. Mm -hmm. Even on this very day, man. Mm -hmm. Because you mm -hmm. because saw a smile at you, whatever, maybe his friend or whatever. Deep down, he has that hatred in his spirit. Going back to the TV, man. Two nations busting in night room. Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah. 
you can't even go nowhere if you're not jabbed up. Right. That's how you know you're a slave, man. I'm talking about you, you, you can do whatever you want. No, Esau said you ain't flying nowhere. You ain't gonna be flying. Right. Where you going? He also uses his, his birth certificates and social security as a hold you back from going anywhere. You a passport. citizen. You? Passports, yeah, you always need that passport. Right. Even prior to the, the pandemic, you had to have a passport to leave the country. Right. And the first thing he told me, like, you got a permit? Yeah. You got a visa? You got a license? You got a license. You need to drive a car, man. You need, you need a license, man. You got to pay registration on that every year, man. Every year. You don't pay it. Yeah, you can lose the car, man. Yeah. You'll be fine. No, you ain't go to jail. That ain't even your car. It ain't your car, man. You might say you pay. It's paid off. No, it's not. It'll never be paid off. In your house, too. Your property. Yep. You got to pay property taxes on it every year. Man. You can own the house, but you can't own the land. Okay? Nothing makes sense in this land. They don't. This is Babylon. The land of confusion. They also have to call every domain. The military bunch of property. They can take it any time they want. Oh, yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. Yep. Who's doing free out there, man? The only so-called free or anyone that walk around here, yeah. they don't yeah. have social security numbers there. They're getting around, they, they going around getting jabbed up. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 24, it says, An eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, Foot for foot, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. And slavery used to tuck our eyes out. You know, if the slaves didn't want to eat, they beat their teeth in and force feed them. That's an eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Yeah, and it says foot for foot. Hey, when slaves were, were too fast and they kept running away, you just eventually cut their foot off, man. Yeah. All right. I'll show you that in the roots. Put skin tape, man. I'll show you about the teeth thing, the fast teeth thing, and that on goodbye, Uncle Tom. Like the brother was saying earlier, uh, two wow. negatives make a positive. So, uh, rep, uh, somebody got to get repaid for their deeds to make things better. It says, burn it for burning, wound for wound. Hey, burn it for burning. Get that boat to the southern end of the tribe, man. Yeah. Burned us. They hanged us, and then after we were hanged, burned us to death, man. They cut the genitals off. Yeah. And they, I, you saw love doing that. And you saw the bread in that. They man. celebrated it that, man. Yeah, they would cut you, they would cut you off, they would castrate you, put your rod in jars, you know. Would, would, they, would that go back to the celebration or the, the picnic? Pick a, yeah, picnic, pick a nigga, you know. They have those like, public lynchings, you know, so they all gather around, man. Oh, so to pick a nigga. Yeah. And it says, if a man smite the eye, of his servant, what was this in the, the slave Bible? For the eye of his maid that it perished, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his servant's tooth, for his maid, maid servant's tooth, he shall let him go free. Hey, remember, they, they, put us, they put the slaves all in the wood, that, that Christianity. Yeah, uh, we're, doing some of we're, doing, we're doing God's work. Yeah. All right, which, at a point, you were because the Lord was using you yeah. Yeah. To, uh, to, to, to punish us, but you took it far beyond that. All right, like the, like the scripture says, I was so displeased, but you helped for the affliction. Tells you ain't supposed to abuse your slave, you ain't supposed to hurt your slave. Where the fuck you get all this extra shit? You know, putting stuff up Jake's ass and ripping Jake in half, cutting them up, you know, feeding the babies, the alligators. You a devil, man. Yeah. Right off the boat, man, they broke on uh, the street. You know, and forced them to, you know, that drill they said. Yeah, they breed Jake, you know, they breed them on breeding farms, they have them sex with their mothers. Mother Effers now. That's where Jake got that term from. That's where Jake always used that term. Mother Effer. Yeah. You know? That's just the stuff that we know about. Father's 
now, even my always like to say, well, that was not me. That was my father, my age father, and I'm sorry for that. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I feel sorry. I'm gonna apologize for my answers. Well, the scriptures prepare started for his children. You are his children, man. Because really, you, the, 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 the Edomites back then are here today, man. All right, right, they're here today. You are your great, 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 great grandfather coming back. Right. That's why that's just justified. Right? That's why the scripture says, the Lord visiting the iniquities, you know, fathers to the third and the fourth generation. Okay, because every third and fourth generation you come back, the Lord judges you and puts you back down in another body. Okay, and judges you. That's right. And you're right. You're not your father. You're not going to be punished for what your father did. You're going to be punished for what you did. What you did. Back in the reincarnation. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you're doing now. Right. Uh, yeah. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Because you already see what that is what they're doing. Like what we're studying on used to be the forest. And now we're still on fucking concrete. So I have all these buildings with all these pollutions and all these fucking loud ass cars and shit. Oh, that's cars, yeah. All right, because look at the do to the world. In order for them to build a city, they don't do it the right way, they do it the wrong way. They kill off the animals, they kill off the the nature itself. They make the animals move and they they be filled it with concrete. Like uh, they build it, they build it with concrete, man. Gone. Build high ass towers and shit. Yep. Remind reminds them the that time they used to live in the caves. Yeah. Alright? No, they, they don't keep the land savage. That's why the food's all fucked up, the food is all messed up. That's right. right. Genetically modified and all that, food in the labs, you know, can't even grow big fruits, you know brought it out last week and it's, it's in the scriptures it take two strong men to carry a cluster of grapes man that's how big the fruit got back in the ancient world man but nowadays you're lucky to get a grape you know what else seeded man? seeded yeah seeded yeah. there's no seeded grapes you can't find them yeah. it's stores you gotta, you gotta try to find them but well, you know that's Esau throwing off the whole um, balance of nature man right. the whole balance of nature is gone yeah. Okay. It's chemtrails, man. Barium oxide, all the pollution that's in this chemtrail. It's all yeah. the water, it's all the things that's not built on breast milk. They're finding it, you know, just living on food. There's much breast milk nowadays. Hey, you know? And that's why, like, you know, this, this week, they've been pushing that shit heavy. Doing that shit heavy. Chemtrails and all that, man. They've been doing very heavy, man. I'm going outside, I'm like, Everybody's sick, you know, everybody. You know, we, we had bad flu seasons in the past, but it's like, damn, everybody's sick, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because chemtrails mixed with these, these jabs. It's really Esau snaring people to run to get, get tested, to then falling into the trap to get to the you. What was that going to be? I ain't going to be sick. But, like, what, what, what do you expect to get from that? You know? What do you expect that to be? Uh, support us if you want and disrupt this, the house of the Lord and, and, and the church right now? Yeah, it's all about disruption. You know? Cause they think they're being cute. They think they're being funny. It's really cool. You know, like, you know, show Bill Bar on Saturday afternoon. You think it's cool. You know, let's see how cool you are when you're marching two small points. Let's see how, how, how nasty the woman's going to find you. You guys can down the street. You guys get shot out. You can't protect you. Right. You're not out here seeking love. You're trying to get to the Lord's will. The Lord told us to warn them to leave. We're out here to warn people. It's It's all in the job. It's in the heartbeats and, you know, you the cheer. We're talking about death, lamentation, woes, warnings. Woes, man. Yeah, should say the mighty men are gonna try their bitter. Yeah. That's how bad it's gonna get. Yeah. On Psalm 82 and 5, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk in, they walk on in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. The rivers are fucked up, the sky is fucked up, man. The air is messed up, man. That's why we need those good 
you need those missiles to touch down yeah. to cleanse everything, man. Look what he's done to the children. He's taking their youth away. I watch the kids walking around with a mask on, man, looking like they help me, you know? Walking around with a mask. Yeah. yeah. It's like kids don't even they're can't be kids nowadays, man. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. Yeah. You know, our children are being indoctrinated with uh fed with Sodom next, man. There's fucking trans. Oh, so not, there's fucking Yeah, definitely. Uh, indoctrinated, yeah. yeah. We live in this, this, this what they call it, woke. No, we gotta accept everything, man. PC culture, man. Yeah. Kids can't even go outside and play anymore. Right. They get kidnapped. Yeah, that. Yeah. And they want to be inside playing games. They're already got their job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids, they, they have the opportunity to play outside, but they just want to stay when they fall all day and play games. Yeah, you don't want to go outside. Yeah. yeah. I remember them good old days. I used to play outside, ride my bike everywhere in the city, man. Good. You don't see that no more. See, it's all this technology. It's pushing all this technology, these phones, these game phones. Even back in the 80s, when you had those game phones, man, as soon as going outside and playing, you know? And it's making these kids jerks. Yeah, jerks. Okay? They don't have no personality. No personality, okay? It's not, they're not pushed to socialize. Right. So, so, so when they go up older, they become incels. And when I talk to girls, they all piss off and shit. Yeah. Or you're online and playing. Because you was inside all day playing fucking video games. Instead of going out with your, with your friends, riding your bikes up and down the street. Learn right. how to socialize. How to learn how to talk. You know, learn how to be friendly. Learn communication. You ain't doing that now. You're all inside. And, and what, the, the meta, the meta world, world. Yeah. Meta world. virtual they, reality shit. They want, that's where they want you. And they had some parody, I think it was a parody on Instagram or something. And the guy had on the on the goggle things and he interacted with it. He's running from something and runs straight into a wall. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, his girlfriend got the virtual reality Yeah. He was in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's prophecy too, you know. It says knowledge shall be increased in these last days. You know? All this technology that's springing up, meta world, you know, cell phones out here that can do whatever, man. You got these phones on your wrist that, that know when you're healthy and when you're sick. Oh, uh, they, they know when you're sitting down for too long and it's time to get up. Yeah. yeah. It's not hey. how much exercise you get. <laughs> some, hey, some people need that, man. Yeah, man, we need to set time. Anybody got something to that? Yeah, yeah. Got something. Second Ezra is 15, and I'm going to start at 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. That's what the Lord's been doing, man, this whole time, putting the words of prophecy in his men's mouth, man. Out here, on the side of Concord, man. Out here on the streets. You know, preaching this word yeah. in season and out of season, man. Letting you know who you are, specifically the nation of Israel, man. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's why we're out here, man. We tell you who you are. We don't want to listen to it, we don't care, man. We want to brother Brian, man. The blood is off our hands, man. Fuck you. And cause them to be written in paper. Well, they are faithful and true. These words are faithful and true, man. We see it from the back, man. We see the history. We do the research on the history. These people actually existed, man. Artaxerxes, man. All these people, Pharaoh, Ramses, Alexander, Alexander, yeah. All this history, man. He came out to play, man. He saw some archaeologists prove that, man. The history books prove it, man. Fear not the imaginations against thee, ne let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. And fear not what you saw has has in store. Fear not the unbelief of our people, man. That speak against thee. That speak against you. Your people are gonna come up against us, man, because they're scared. Because they, they, they want those smooth things. Yeah. They want us to prophesy to the smooth things. They want us to tell them, yeah, man, you're gonna make a million dollars in 2022. Yeah, but the Lord loves everybody. That's You're going to get saved. You know, everybody's going to get saved. Yeah. That's why they follow T.D. Jakes. He 
these other pastors, man. You know, like uh, what type of guy? Uh, Creflo Dollar. Tell uh, uh, Joel Osteen. Yeah, that motherfucker oh, too. Hell no, nah, that's good. Because they sound, they speak what they speak what the people want to hear. Yeah. Those smooth words, man. You know, that the Most High loves everybody. He hates the sin. He loves the sinner. Okay? All these things are false, man. Okay? This is not the Most High of the Bible. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They're all going to die in their victory. Don't inquire about how they're going to die. Inquire about how you're going to be delivered. Man. Yep. What can you do to be saved? That's what matters. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, a sword, famine, death, and destruction. Sword, famine, death, and destruction. It's read in Isaiah, man. Death, a child, a widowhood, and childlessness is coming in the moment of the day. Heaven's already here. Um, a lot of the restaurants are complaining that a lot of the produce they can't obtain it. Huh? You have to wait at least eight weeks, a month. They're almost out of court. A lot of the people who are getting it back. You know, for you, the combination. This is a good thing. It's, it's that, that trucker shortage. Yeah, it's a trucking shortage now. That's it's starting. 80,000 or 1,000 truck workers are out, like, nowhere to be found. Well, Esau is bringing this thing, man. Esau is Come causing, on. he's causing this famine, man. Okay, a famine doesn't necessarily mean that there's not food, but it's you don't have access to it. We don't have the access to the food. The food is there, but like you say, the truckers, okay, the dock workers, whatever it is that's, that caused your food to come to the shelves, it ain't happening, okay? And then, too, you're going to have to get jabbed up in order to go to get the food. Yeah, yeah man. Man. Yeah, it's like, because that scripture, you know, a bare, a bare metal. Yeah. yeah. Is that scripture? Yeah, as if a man fled from a lion and he met a bear, and he, he got away from the bear, went home, leaned his hand against the wall, and a serpent bit him. He ain't going to get away. It's trouble from all sides, man. Right. All out of hell, man. It says, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise them. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. The souls of the just constantly complaining, man. Every day, man, there's new prayer going up, asking, you know, hey, Lord, we you coming back? You're going to destroy this place, man. It's like yeah. we're ready to ask. You know, that was that main question. When are you going to restore the kingdom? Right. You know? But hey, you know, it's not for us to know the time to date, but we do know that is closed. Why? Because the clock is The uproars of the people, earthquakes, diverse places, wars, rumors, wars, man. We know because it's all coming, it's, it's all happening all at once, man. You can't deny it. You can't it. This is the hope of the elect. Verse, verse 9, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land there. So all the plagues of ancient Egypt are going to happen all again. And this time, right here in America, it said I was plagued and we got again, bro. It says... Like behold, verse 10, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stress out on and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. All right, this is the new Egypt, new Sodom, Egypt, right here in Great Babylon, Great America. 
you're going to smite this place with the plagues of Egypt as before. Death, darkness, all that. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. Verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Right, one people shall stand up and fight against another, right? It's race rights. You know, with rights, with race rights. One people standing up and fighting against other people. Right? The race retention is at an all-time high. It's always been great retention. Now it's just going to boil over, right? For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition among men, rising up against the government, insurrection, sedition. And invading one another. Invading one another, you can rust up in your houses, taking your stuff, man. raping your wives, raping your daughters, and stealing your food. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They're not going to regard these governors, these mayors, these, these cops out here telling you what to do. Uh, they're not gonna, they're not gonna listen. What? Because they got families and they gotta feed. They got they gotta feed themselves. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, they're gonna cut off all these cities, you know. Oh, that, that Fauci guy talking about, you know, you gotta be jabbed up now to uh do domestic travel. But then here, even just from one city to another, they're blocking everything off. Man. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The city's going to be troubled, man. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. The man's going to be afraid, man. The mighty man's going to try their good ones, man. A man. man's heart's failing them for fear. Read that in Luke, right? The yeah. man's heart's going to be failing them for fear. To be so scared, people will be dropping dead heart attacks out there. That's how bad it's going to get. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yeah, no fuck, his neighbor ain't gonna give a fuck about you. Your neighbor, you may say hi to him. Hey, guy, how you doing? You know, how, how's the wife? How's the kids? But when all else, there's no nothing out here to eat. And everybody's looting and all that shit. Then I got me pity on you, man. They're gonna bust it in your house, right? So you all you got to do. Yep. Don't want to use whatever. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Says, uh, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but sh but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods 
because of the lack of bread and for a great tribulation. Great tribulation, rioting, you know, race riots, you know, famine. So they're gonna come up in your house and take take your take your goods, take your food, take your woman. All right, your neighbors for them. Yeah, man. Watch that movie, The Road, man. Yeah. All these movies out here. Uh, look at Eli. Look at Eli. Uh, what else? What's your name? A purge. Yeah. All these different movies. We're talking about the complete anarchy. Yeah. That's how it's going to get. The worst. Yeah, the little that someone has is going to be a prize for nothing. Right. The That's right. The roll of paper towels, man. That's just going to be so much treasure. Right when the lockdown happened, everybody was spraying around trying to find toilet paper. Survive because all the thing they do is that social media stuff. Man. Right. You know, yeah. people people mind is, is mush. Okay, that that social media turns your mind to mush, man. Okay, especially the TikTok thing. Okay, got your mind. Com com how, how you say? Mentalized. You know, got it parted off in sections. Yes. Reading, uh, was looking at videos for only like five seconds. That's as long as your uh, attention, your span. attention span is now. Five right. seconds. That's right. Okay. So your attention span, it'll be right. quick and fast. That yeah. convenience, you know, fast food, like you said. People don't know how to do nothing with it. Nobody knows how to hunt. Nobody knows how to fish, you know. So when they shut everything down, how do you get your food? Yes, you live in Alaska. Alaska. It was Alaska. I watched some shows called uh, uh, Life Below Zero. And people out there, like, they have to work for everything that they, that they make. They have to work to build their house. They want to eat. They got to go out and hunt. They have to, you know, they're basically, they're self sufficient out there, man. They don't really rely on, on the government for anything to take care of themselves. You know, they, they, they know how to live off the land. Yeah, I imagine if you don't, you appreciate that. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good to uh, fed Elijah uh, uh, Ravens. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, that day, man, no matter what, they're going to be worried. Right. Nobody knows what I'm that. Because, you know, the Ravens fed. Most I had it to a Ravens fed, no matter what. You know, because we don't know how to fish or hunt and all that. But we're resting in the truth. So, Lord will, the Lord will have us have our backs that day. Exactly. Because this is the only thing we got out there. Oh, That's the only thing we need out here. Jow by Shikawa Shai. He said he was going to feed us. He said, my servant shall oh, eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, wonders. That's, you know, if you, you don't starve, you know the people, y'all don't starve out here, man. Okay? Because you would not, of all this counsel, you know, at his reproof, you turn your head, you wave your hands at the prophets, okay? God, I got to this up. It's, uh, Second Ezra 2, 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrow, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Oh, the Lord's going to protect his men in that day, man. Others are weeping, others are sorrowful, you know, and others are getting ransacked. 
the neighbors aren't having pity on them, mm. you know? The men of the Lord, they're going to be safe, they're going to dwell safely, they're going to be merry, happy, and have an abundance, man. Mm. Abundance of what? Abundance of food, man. Yep. Their belly's belly going to be full and their bones going to be empty. I got the scripture and I, I believe it. <laughs> it says, uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Just like y'all are living it up, two thirds out here, you the nations y'all have it. You have the budgets, you have the world, man, you got everything, man. The men of the world, man, we ain't got shit. Hey, in that day, most likely flip the script, man. Y'all are gonna be the ones that are hungry, we're gonna be the ones that eat. Alright? Yeah. It says, But ye shall my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You're gonna be thirsty, man, the servants, you know, okay, the remnant, whoever those men are, they're not gonna be thirsty. Man. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. You're going to be rejoicing, man. Men of the Lord are going to be rejoicing, and you're going to be ashamed. Why? Because you're going to want to counsel that not. You didn't listen. You didn't want to listen, man. You didn't want to take no food. You didn't want to change your ways, man. You didn't want to switch up your spirit. You, know, you wanted to continue on in this place. You know, do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. And guess what, man? You're going to be sorry for that day, man. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry, cry for sorrow of heart. Cry for sorrow of heart, man. Man, you are a fool. What? Yeah. I know. That's all. Yeah, we, we, we having that. We, we'll be getting that in that day. Man. Seven women shall take hold from one man, right? <laughs> Rejoice and for joy. Hey, why? Because you're going to be getting taken care of. You're going to be yeah. happy. Yeah, I know. I see the power. Women love power. Yeah, therefore, women will come flocking from the sea. They want to, you know, they want to die. In that day, shall be known as my chosen. And the Messiah is going to give his chosen power. That's what women are mostly attracted to. That's the main thing they're attracted to. Power. Right? That's why, that's why your women don't respect you. You can't take that power inside, man. We're gonna get our power back. Let's believe that, man. We're gonna get our land back. We're gonna get our name back. We're gonna get our power back, man. We're gonna get our, our most high back. Man. He's gonna be our power, and we're gonna be his people again, man. Right. We're gonna get our land back, and we're gonna be living forevermore, man. No other nation's gonna take us down. Why? Because most likely gonna put that his war on our inward parts, man. Okay. We're never gonna go down, man, right? We're never gonna be in this huge state. This is down and out state. It's a cool, cool state, man. It's a retarded state, man. It's a state of arrested development. You just can't grow out here, man. Finish off this verse. It says, uh, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. So you say you're singing upon the beds, man, in the kingdom, and on this side. But all that hell breaks loose, man. What? You shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Yes. Yeah, the spirit's gonna be so vexed out here, man. We just read the list. You know, yeah. your neighbors, we didn't even say from your neighbor, man. You that you've been living next to you for years. He's gonna turn on you, man. Yeah, bro, it's just funny that Abel's fighting, man. They're gonna be constant on me. You know, not knowing where the fuck to do. It's like, not knowing where the fuck to go, what to do. Alright? You got no one to turn to, man. All right, you denied the Lord, man. You know he's going to deny you in that thing. I got that Elijah. Uh, first Kings 17, 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants, inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord, power liveth of Israel, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And it was a drought. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. Yeah. The Lord commanded the ravens to feed his men. 
know, to feed his servant. So the Lord took care of his thirst and his hunger. That's right. All in one. I believe in Matthew 6, he says, uh, how he feeds the birds, you know, one more than the servants, you know, right. the, the Lord's word. And that was a the miracle. Yep. Yeah. And the apostles always say, we expect miracles, man. Yeah. yeah. That, that was a miracle. You know, another uh, miracle. A raven brought you food, man. You know, another miracle. You got a water bottle. Another one's out of water. It happened before. You know, See, down to a... It happened when you all the time fed the 5,000 with the fish. With the fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir, come on now. And then you had what? How many baskets were slept over? Like 12 yeah. baskets yeah. Yeah. left over. Then you get a little bit. Yeah. It's kept replenishing itself, man. Even when you have a shot at the wedding, man, you kept building up the bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, these are things you're going to fall alone. Now, we have to remember that these things are going to happen. These things are going to happen if you have faith. That's the thing. That's the key word. That's the key ingredient. For these things to happen, it's having faith. These things are not going to happen if you don't believe. You don't believe. You know? Skip me down to 14. This is when Elijah went to the widow, man. I mean, that's it. That's what Elijah met the widow, right? Get to the point. Uh, says, Let's say the Lord the power of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord descended rain upon the earth. So, so, so basically, the, the oil in the, in, the, in the place of the thing that she had did not waste until the rain came back, man. You know, because that was able to sustain her and her, her, and her son. All right, so these things can happen, you know. You can get a water bottle, never runs out of water. You can take a shower with it, you know. We're gonna be taken care of because we talk about food, not only food that we eat, right. clothes, uh, uh, shelter. wipes, shelter, and all that, man. Yeah. You know, because we ain't we smell like, you know, like these bums out here. We see these bums, the, the shoes are uh, worn off to the point where, uh, you know, you see the foot coming out, and they have, you know, black all over. Under, under the foot and all that, man. That's not gonna be us, man. Oh, we'll be taken care of. In, yeah. in yeah. Egypt, right? Our clothes and uh, they didn't yeah. deteriorate off of us. Right. Yeah. Deuteronomy eight and four. Thy remnant wax not old upon thee, neither the raven. Uh, the raven. Thy raven wax not old upon thee, because the best of you were to live be homeless for a long period of time. Your clothes, you wore the same clothes, you're gonna watch over. You're yeah. offering, you know? Yeah. You know? They would deteriorate like a book said. Thy raven wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these 40 years, man. So if that happened back then in the wilderness, how much more now? Yeah. You know? Because right now we're in a weaker state. Yeah. You know? After one year, you're close. After one year, you wear the same thing over and over again. That shit is gonna fall off. Wilderness, we saw them though. You know, carting on the sea. You know, chariot. Yeah, pillow of fire by day, cloud by day, pillow of fire by night. We saw that. We didn't see any of them. We didn't see anything. Yet we still believe. It's simply about the doubting Thomas. Look, blessed are they that have not seen yet still believe. Man, so how much more this time, man? How much grander the miracle is gonna be? We just read how it's going to be a high, another high holy day. This destruction is going to be so fast. It's going to be like, hey, well, praise the Lord. How about you ask the Lord? It's an hour to go in the country. I got it real quick. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's the only thing we, well, not the only thing, but that's what we have to look forward to because it's, it's our faith that's going to lead us into these things that's happening, man. these things that are about to happen, okay? Because it's already written, it's already written that we're going to get the victory over all of this. He shall be saved out of it. So what are you looking to, not to be saved? Come on, man. We're looking to be saved. We're looking for these words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to come to fruition. Right. Okay. Yeah. What else do we have? Right. You know. But what else do we need? 
put all eggs all in one basket. All in one basket. What, we were, we were believe in America? We were in Babylon for another thousand right. years. <laughs> here, uh, working on the Esau, working, you know, slaving on these other nations for a thousand years, man. We're going to wear a mask for another thousand years. Right. Come on, man. Right. And they already said, you know, don't plan on not ever taking that mask off. <laughs> <laughs> a mask is part of your, your regimen. Now, even even I, man, when I go outside, I'll be like, damn, something missing. I can't be the best. 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 Yeah. I just want to wear this mask for another thousand years and put a set down, man. Hey, I'm trying to get the fucking body. You can't leave this shit. You can't leave that mask on. I'm just going to know that I'm watching. I'm just going to come up. Right. Makes my room turn. Like I asked him to. There's too much carbon dioxide. It makes my face more normal. Come here. I was just uh, looking at the mandate uh, in N95. That shit choked the hell out of you. Man. You literally can't breathe in that one. That's what they want. They want you to, to die. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they want to kill off 5 million people. Yeah, they want 500 million people to be alive. Yeah. People are many over 500 million. Yeah. As far as the guys stuff. Yeah. Well, just when they was about to accomplish that new world order, man, which I was going to put a a monkey wrench in his plan. I said, he's stuck back to hell shot. That before, by putting uh, the nation new order tonight, right? You had uh, Nimrod. Yeah. Uh, what did he do? What did he do? The power, the confusion with the languages, man. Right? Switched up the languages to the point where they didn't understand each other. They had its notions. We need to try to make Hellenize everybody. All right? And, and then what did he do to him? You want to be last out, man. So, all right, so, third time ain't the charm for you, though. All right, third time ain't the charm. You know, I ain't going to allow you to uh, take a new order, man. All right, the student says, uh, give not the desires of the wicked, of the prayer for you. All right, so the desires is what? Having a new order, having that one world government, man. All right, where they have everyone shipped, especially these people with bondage, man. All right, have everyone wants to take it. It's there's going to be uh, no who, 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 uh, who they want you to worship in, in, their, in their new order. They want you to worship sin, not God. When they, when they talk about when you see the, the God we trust, it's not talking about the old side, it's talking about Satan. That's their God. That's who they worship. They're going to they go, they go get everyone to worship it. They're already doing it. But they're doing it right now secretly. But they want it out in the open where you know that you worship the sick, man. Yeah. It's pretty much, they're putting out the open right now, man. They erected that Luciferian statue. Where is it at? They put it out somewhere, all these different statues. You know, they're, they're putting it out there. The trannies and all that. Yeah. I won't be surprised if Esau says, if you want to take the micro grain of rice, uh, uh, so like, those who want to worship Satan, come take the micro grain of rice. <laughs> right. Uh, people are going to do that, man. That whole Satanism is out, man. We just ready to trust in the wickedness, man. I got a quick one. You know? Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? That vain thing is that new order, man. You think that you're going to have established this on earth, man. I'm in a real world government, all right? Where you have control for the rest of your life. Uh, you have everyone under you, because that's the only thing left. They already have all the money in the world. If they only do so much with money, you know, so the next thing they want, they want more power. Not power to uh, establish it through their mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Through the, uh, 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 through the, one of the main things he saw imagining too is trying to eradicate the elect. Yeah. He really believes he's gonna try to do that, man. He really believes he's gonna get rid of the elect. 
trying to fool the elect with this blue beam, you know? Yeah. He's been trying to do that. He's been putting drugs, uh, creating these gangs, putting guns and drugs in our neighborhoods, mm -hmm. poisoning the food, poisoning the air, all to try to get the elect. You know? Just like in the time when uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai, when he was born, what did Herod do? He went and sent out an order to have all the males that were two years and under killed, man. That's, what, that's why Yahweh, that's why the angel went to uh, Yahweh Shai's parents, Joseph and Mary, and told him to go to go to Egypt, man, and hide until the until Herod uh, uh, passed away. All right. Second Ezra sixteen thirty seven. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Plagues like draw nigh, man. They're not loose. If they're gonna hit when they hit, they're gonna hit hard. Yeah. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth her son, with two or three hours of her slot, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. That's what the woman can do. We saw tries to create these drugs, these different rehabilitation or different uh, techniques to try to reduce that those labor pains. You can't you can't take away those labor pains. You're not going to be able to reduce these plagues that are coming. You're not going to be able to offset these plagues. Alright? So even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come up on it on every side. Yeah, right now we're in the beginning of sorrows. Yeah, we're in the beginning of the sorrows, man. When those sorrows hit, man, when that time of Jacob's trouble, full blast, man, it, it's not going to be slack. It's going to be tight for everybody. It's going to be tight on everyone's neck. Right? That's when you're going to put a pressure, man. That's when you're going to have to choose who you're going to serve. Yep. Who you're going to follow. Because right now, you can't, you can't escape. Right now, you know, yeah, people are having really fucking depression. And people are already folding. You know? They're already folding. They're already folding. You thought you were going to lose your job. And you can't travel. You can't do this or that. But how much more when you can't even leave your house? All right, how much, how, if you fold it now, uh, how, how much you're going to fold then? Because that's when it's really going to do it. That's when the devil is going to show his horns and show that he ain't playing, man. Because his time is coming short and he needs as much people to be killed. All right? He says, O oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yes. Can't be in one place, one spot. That'd be like pilgrims constantly, constantly on the go. That's a lot. They constantly on the go. The Bible is like that. What was he? God's like, we made his life. You can't just stay in one spot. We gotta move. Yeah. Yeah. Move the road. When they find out a bunker, the son's like, Mike, we just stay here. We got everything we need. So now we gotta go. Grab what we can, grab what we can, we go because, because the next guy that's traveling looking for food and supplies is going to stumble upon that man. Mm -hmm. And we're all going to be, uh, you know, guided through the spirit of Javi Hau by some of y'all. You may be traveling, the spirit may go to that house, stay there for two days, or stay there for a night, stay there for a couple hours and move to this spot. You know, the spirit of the Lord is going to be with us, man. Yep. You know? Uh, verse 70. For well, there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right. Great uprising on the Israelites. That's what they're talking about. That's the Lord that fears the Lord. Whether it's the one third or the two thirds, every all take has that seal uh, for, for this book. They're like who they call God. You know, but the one third has to be So when it says that fear, yeah. It says, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yes, yeah, so they're coming after all you gates. We're trying to eradicate all you Israelites. Okay? And last thing I want to do, uh, they brought this, uh, they brought like all these old gates, and they brought like old trains and some shit. And you want Jake, nah, I can't do this, man. 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 Don't touch me. Uh, I can't do this, man. Like, I I can't I need to die and pray for you. That's that zeal that our people have of the most high, man, because we're made to 
believe in the Lord. Right. So, right. He chose us. Yeah, that's what right. separates us from these other nations, man. You know, it's like, if, you know, he has that, we have that zeal. Those, those, those rules. We were know? created for the service of the Most High. Right. Okay? We're going to be the ones servicing the other nations, teaching them the ways of the Most High. Yeah, because they're bastards. That's why they put plates in their lip. That's why they do the things that they do. They ain't take spirit to put a plate in their lip. Man. Like, how you gonna eat with a freaking big ass plate? You, you just put the food on the plate, <laughs> and then you just scrape it all. It's a dish holder, huh? <laughs> yeah. I come with my plate already. <laughs> Verse 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's why that's what they're gonna leave it. They wash lots of there. All you people that have gonna love hold on to your goods, you don't lose all the shit. All you do is that purpose that you got off control or you do stupid asses and show everything that you got online, man. Guess what? The government's going to take take your shit, man. Take you out, man. You ain't gonna be a uh, survivor. Daily, just because you think you got it all, you yeah. know? That's why earlier in the verse, it explains how tell you, you can't stay in real place, man. Right. Yeah. You know, they're, they're going to seek to get what you have. Hey, uh, the person, like, the beginning of 2016, it says, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my, 70, right? Yeah, I started at 73. Oh, like, we like, 40, 40 verse, it goes into, uh, um, how uh, men will go into house with the spirit looking for good. Yeah. Yep, verse like 73. Good. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Yeah, that, that, that day, that's when you're going to know who was right, who was wrong. That's when you're going to know. Oh, because the most likely going to give us men that power to be able to stand that day, to be able to defend themselves, to be able to take off seven women. Yeah, because like, seven women, you know, if you have uh, a good number of women and not have no supplies, you're going to have an abundance, right? You're going to be able to take care of it and uh, protect them. You said you had the women going to bring the growth, you know? You're going to add on. Just you don't want to buy your last name. Just don't want to buy your last name, right? Exactly. Like, all the mayhem. All right. All the judgment that's coming. So, yeah, you got to put your own food and wear their own raiment. Let you all by thy name, you know? it's that protection. You marry hunting for the Lord. Right? You might even know how to deal with herbs. Yeah. You might uh, may know how to make you some tea oh. to heal you up. I, can I bring this on quick? Did you? Oh. Of 2nd Acts 16 and 31. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. So this is where I was quoting. All right, but there were two men left in the city. Because a lot of people would have died. And the ones that are do survive, they're going to be going house to house looking for the sword. So it's wise not to stay in one place for the whole time. And it's wise, wise to move from place to place when the Spirit uh, uh, tells you to. You know? It says, And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Yeah, you test me to try as gold is tested the fire, man. Fire gold and melt all the impurities that melt away. Because when the elect are put in that position, the Lord will see, do they really depend on Him? Are they going to move off faith? Are they going to move with the expectation the Lord is going to be? It's about to say it. Oh, verse 74. Here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. And, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Howard. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah. Something like that. Read that again. Something like that. Which one? Let's start here. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah, days of trouble are at hand. You know, that's what the, that the Lord, the street corners, the chief place of concourse, has been telling you for years now. That's what the yeah. apostles have been telling you. That's what Albert Bivens has been telling you. Days of trouble are at hand. Man. 
So he said he was going to save us from the same. But I will deliver you from the same. That is our hope, man. That's our faith. The Lord is going to deliver you from the same. The Lord just will read, read on. It says, be, be not afraid, neither doubt. Be not afraid, neither doubt. Man. That is, that's the definition of faith. Man. What's the definition of faith? Man? So let's get that one for For the most high is your God. Evidence of things not seen. Yeah. You don't see the angels. Look where I've seen you, house shot. We're just now seeing the chariots. Yeah. So in the book of Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We don't know the deliverance of that day. To us to not fear, to not doubt. So that's why you gotta have that faith, man. I don't like this uh, motivation thing. It says, uh, faith is believing it's gonna happen. You don't know how it's gonna happen, but you know it's gonna happen. You don't know how it's gonna happen, you don't know how it's gonna happen. The Lord told us to don't fear and to don't doubt. Right. And that's what we have to go about. Said he could be your guide. If you can look at it in a carnal sense, you get a guide in this world, he'll take you around. He'll show you. He'll lead you. God, right. That's what the Lord will do for us. He'll lead us in those days. You, you don't know, you might get a funny feeling. You just start walking. You turn this, start doing a whole journey for two hours, just go like. Well, you gotta, you gotta remember, man, his goings are of the Lord anyway. Okay? So he's guiding us. He's been guiding us. He guided us to this truth. Okay? So we just have to continue in the things that we've learned, continue in the, in the faith of the Most High, and that's it. We're gonna be good. Hey, brother, you remember that uh, episode of the road? <laughs> the, the trucks were coming, and they went uh, left with the lead. The, the opposite road uh, uh, that they were coming. The road, I mean, yeah, no, oh, not the road. The no, road. you got it. You got it. The lake. Oh, yeah, the lake. The lake. The lake, the lake. Yeah, yep, yep. The lake, yeah. The truth about to come in. Well, I believe the wife, uh, they were, they were going to go on the road that the truth were going to go. But the wife didn't listen. Uh -huh. And I'm like, the fuck you didn't listen to your husband. But but it was all it was all good because because if they were to listen to that and went to the road, it was the Lord might put the spirit on a child, your wife. You got to don't doubt. Yeah, you're probably going to have to fear. But don't doubt. The Lord is with you. Go on. Who's that? Yeah, go on. All right. Hebrews 11 and 6. Oh, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Okay. Yeah, please him without faith. It's impossible. The scripture said, I can do all the things to be out of shine and strengthen you. That's the thing we're going to go and live evil with. If you believe in the Lord, you can do all things to be out of strength. It's impossible to please him most high without faith. So, hey, that's something we gotta work on. You know? That's something we have to build up to. Obviously. Right? Verse 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, the how I should be able to shine. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Right, this word is reversing the righteous act on this side. He said he's gonna be the guide of them that keeps his commandments. And his precepts. You've got to keep his commandments and precepts to the best of your ability. Yeah, you're going to go off. You know, we don't think that you're not a man of the Lord. You go off here and there. You know, hey, we're all going to go off. You don't let those sins weigh you down. You don't go to the behind you. You push it forward. Get back up. Get back up. And it's a commandment, too, for us to believe in the outer shot. Okay? To believe in the Lord, that's a commandment, man. Okay, to trust in Him. All right? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, uh, the book of Sarah 14 and 1 it says, Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth 
and that is not good with the multitude of sins. All right, you know, we're all gonna say things we don't mean, we're all gonna do things that you know, we don't mean to do, man. Like the brother said, we, we're gonna go off. Right. All right, but it's thing about, you know, doing, uh, following the commandments, you know, with the best of our ability. Yeah. All right, the flesh was designed for that. Yeah, so when demons fucking with you, or somebody says something to you, or, you know,
my cars go into, man. It's all to build up here. It's all to change, man. Yes, Purge out the hole. It's the fire. Fire, yep. Purging. So you're purifying. Purifying. So you can get through uh, what, what's coming. Of course. All right. Is that it? Oh, oh yeah. That's really the best part. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Leave it in, and he will help thee. Order thy way are right and trust in him. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. That's how you turn acceptance, man. You gotta go through this fire, you gotta go through this furnace. Prove yourself to Yahweh Shai. There's no escape. Alright? Alright, my guys, so let's go back to that back. So I'm reading that, 24 and 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of these days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yeah, that's the last one. This is it, man. The last one, this is it coming down, man. That's when you have a size to make this return. That's what we're waiting for, man. Patient, waiting for. How well to restore the kingdom, man. Once the Yahweh comes back, that's our time, man. That's his time. He's going to establish his kingdom on the planet Earth, man. The little will, but it will be going heirs. Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. It says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth mourn. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with the power and great glory. Clouds of heaven, man. You know, those chariots, man. That whole host of heaven. Day, that day. Yeah. It says, uh, it says, and you know, and it's going to be a person month to you know the whole life, right? You know, because they're going to know what's coming next, they're judging, right? For what they did to the, the people of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Most importantly, the elect and the one third. It says, uh, and he shall send his angels with a great sign of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. From the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Right, man. Let being built. Yeah, but that's how glorious that day is going to be. It's going to be fearful, you know. Those are both so glorious at yeah. that time. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're hastening every day. You know, and each day, man, we've got to drag ourselves out of bed, you know, to get through that day. Get that day is coming. Galatians uh, 21. Uh, one. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the new city, I mean city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. God, yeah, that's that, that's that elect, man. After they've been changed, the twinkling of an eye, they're brought back down low on earth, man, ready to, you know, establish Yahweh Shai's kingdom, ready to kill, do, do that thing, man. That's because the playtime starts, man. No. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacles of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them. They shall be with his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their God, and shall wipe away all their tears, all their tears from their eyes, and they shall be no more dead. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Yeah, the former things are passed away, and it's not worth pain, death, and despair that we're going through right now. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to wipe all that away, man. And it is good, man. Eventually, all Israel is going to be saved. And the hard yeah. tribulation will be over. Yeah. Now it's just the, the kingdom. Right. Chopping off the heads of the ones that don't run about on the outside, man. That's what it's going to be about. I've got an idea of who that is. 